the tutorial video on Twine 2.1, highlighting some changes that have occurred in Harlow 2.0. Let's move over to the story. So while in previous versions of Harlow allowed for saving style information and variables, the new enchant macro allows for using one-time or repeating styling of select words, phrases, or with named hooks. So here's what the documentation says. So it applies a changer to every occurrence of a hook or string in a passage and continues applying that changer to any further occurrences that are made to appear in the same passage later. So let's look at an example. So as you can see, we have the enchant macro. We have the string to look for, which is Dan, me, hi, as well as changers here. So we have text color to orange, text style to bold, and we're concatting them together, so do both. Make it orange, make it bold. And as you can see, for every string of Dan here within the example, as well as here within the text, it changed both. And so Dan says, hey, this enchant macro is super useful. Why it even changed the example code? And as you can see, string and changer. And it continued to change both the text and above it where the string appeared, where both Dan appeared and is now orange and bold. So the other new thing added in Harlow 2.0, which appears in Twine 2.1, is new hooks. So here's an example of one of the four new named hooks that now appear in Harlow 2.0. So it has built-in page, passage, sidebar, and link hooks. And each one of them refers to a different thing. Page refers to the entire element that takes up the story the tw hyphen story element. Passage refers to tw hyphen passage and affects, as you can see here, the text within a single passage. Sidebar can be used to change things over here in a sidebar, which is kind of hard to see now. And links, of course, refer to the link. You can change different links. Here, though, as an example, I've changed the text within passage. And I've done it using the new enchant macro. So let's go look at that code for a second. So as you can see with the example I showed, we're using the enchant macro, the string to look for, in this case, Dan, as well as what to do. So change the text color and then change the text style. It's also a new thing added within Harlow 2.0. And by added, I mean sort of refined a little bit, that you can concat different things together. That is, add different things together using the addition symbol. This thing. So we have text color, orange plus text style to bold. And now you can use it with pretty much any macro. And in this case, I've used it with the enchant macro as an example of how to do this. So we used enchant, the string to look for, as well as the changer. Remember the documentation applies a changer. And so it applied it to every occurrence of a string within the passage. Let's go look at new hooks. So the same thing I did with the enchant as a string in the enchantment passage previously, I can do it with a named hook as I'm doing in this passage. So in this case, I'm using one of the new built-in named hooks, passage. And I'm applying these two changers. Change the background to white, change the color of the text to black. So as you can see, as a demonstration of the built-in new named hooks and the new functionality of the enchant macro, we can change different things as both recurring within a passage and as changing the passage itself. And as always, as I mentioned, make sure you check out the documentation. And so now there's an even easier way to do that. And as a warning, I'm about to review here. So as of this recording, Harlow 2.0 is not the default story format for Twine 2.1. You've got some choices here. So to make sure you're using the new functionality and to gain access to it as well, click on the name of the story and then click on Change Story Format. As of this recording, you can see there are a number of different options here of different versions of the existing story formats. I selected Harlow 2.0 so I can use the new functionality. As well, there's now a link to the documentation where you can go and review what changes have been made 
and how to use different functionality. I highly, re highly recommend that, by the way. As well, you can see documentation to the older version of Harlow, and of course to the new version of SugarCube as of this recording, and the older version of SugarCube as well. But in this case, because I want to use the new functionality that's part of Harlow 2.0, the enchant as well as the named passages or named hooks, I want to make sure I can select Harlow 2.0, and I've done that here. So there you see two different highlights from Harlow 2.0 as well as some refinements that you can go and review in the documentation. Enchant, as a new macro, is particularly useful, as well as now the new named hooks of page and passage and sidebar allow you easy access to change different things using Enchant if you want, as well as other existing functionality and macros that exist within Harlow. Thanks for watching.